Hey vlog, welcome back to my channel, it's Cora. So, it has been a minute since I've actually sat down and talked to you guys. I feel like I need to fill you in on everything. Like, we need to have a little FaceTime, chit chat, sit down, because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Like, genuinely, I don't know, but I'm still gonna fill you in on what I do know. So I had you guys ask me questions on my Instagram and you submitted so many. So I'm gonna be answering as many as I can today. It is literally 9 a.m. And for this video, I woke up at eight. You guys know for me, that is so early. I have the worst attitude, no energy. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get Starbucks. Thank you so much for choosing Starbucks. Welcome, we get started for you. Hi, can I get a venti blonde espresso? Um, like, so our blonde espresso would just be like shots of espresso. Sorry, I like literally don't know how to order <laughs> here. I'll have that right up. Thank you. I felt so stupid just now. Are you serious? Hi, so I actually don't know how to order. Uh, bitch, shut up. Like, I'm so stupid. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Okay, we got our coffee. It is time to just jump right into the questions. But first, actually, for anyone who's wondering, this is literally the best Starbucks order in your life. Like, if you like sweet coffee, ah! my friend Sydney showed it to me. Now I think I know how to say it. I was a fucking idiot two seconds ago at the speaker. It's a venti vanilla blonde espresso. Wait, I actually don't know how to say it. It's this. Okay, hopefully the camera's focusing on it. That is so fu- ah! That is so good! Now let's just get right into the questions. Spill all the tea, lay it all on the line. Is life after graduation scary? Um, yes. <laughs> it is actually the scariest thing. Next question. No, I'm just kidding. When you're in school, whether that be high school or college, you always know all I have to do is go to school next year. Freshman year, you go to sophomore year. Sophomore year, you go to junior year. Junior year, you go to senior year. And then it's like, then what? And like, I decided to go to grad school solely for the fact that I didn't know what the I want to do with my life. But yeah, life after graduation is scary because you just don't know what you want to do. The range of jobs I could get is astronomical and it's also very competitive job market right now. It's insane and I hate it. But uh. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm also living out with my parents, which isn't necessarily the most ideal situation. So it's just scary not really knowing the next step. I'm definitely a planner. Overall, with my life, I like to be a planner to know what the <gasps> I'm doing with my life. And because I don't, yeah, it's scary. Next question. How is a long distance relationship going? Do you think Xanis is the one? Advice on maintaining a long distance relationship. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Let's do the first one. How is a long distance relationship going? Honestly, it could not be going better. It's going as good as it could be. Do I miss him? Yes, all the time. This and sucks, but like knowing that it's not forever. Like we're not gonna be doing this for five years. And it's also, he only lives two hours away from me, okay? It's not that far. I'm literally driving there later today. It's the comfort of knowing that he's not that far and then also knowing that this situation Situation, us being long distance is not forever. Do you think Xanis is the one? I like always am scared to answer these questions on camera because it's weird. I definitely do think that Xanis is the one. I feel like I've met my match. Me and Xanis are like perfect together, so I don't know how it could get any better. <laughs> Advice on maintaining a long distance relationship? Honestly, communication, everyone says that. It's like the cheesiest thing, but it's also the most true thing. Like you have to have solid communication to know whether like, are you guys gonna FaceTime every night? Is that something you want? Are you gonna be texting 24 seven throughout the day how are you going to be communicating and what is the expectation and if you're not on the same page it's not gonna work i think it helps for me too because i did actual long distance which means like i was six hours away from my last boyfriend but yeah i've already done long distance and i've done way longer like right now i would say me and xanis are at like a medium distance like there's definitely distance between us but is it long no, because some people are literally traveling outside of the state to see their significant other. Also, set expectations. If you want him to, like, surprise you with flowers, newsflash, not every guy is gonna know to do that. Like, tell him things that you want and be specific about what you want because, like I said, if you want him to, like, surprise you, tell him that because, like, a lot of guys, I'm sorry, they're stupid. <laughs> they're not gonna think on the top of their head, like, oh, like, I should go surprise her. I should plan a little date for us. Yes, we all wish that every guy thought that way, but the reality is that not every person thinks that way. Be clear with what you want it's not a bad thing it's a good thing and yeah are you planning on getting a real job or doing social media full-time this is the question isn't it <laughs> here's the thing i thought about doing social media full-time and so here's what happened i finished my spring classes and before my summer class started i had like a two-week break okay because if you didn't know i had two summer classes to finish since i'm rushing my master's degree anyway i was basically just doing social media for like two weeks straight i didn't like have any other job i wasn't taking classes at the time and let me tell you i plummeted in 
into the ground in all aspects <laughs> mentally physically i cried for like days straight i had a mental breakdown every day i felt like there was so much pressure of like oh my god my tiktoks aren't performing well my youtube isn't growing what the am i doing now and it really set in perspective how it would feel if i decided to do social media full-time and here's the thing if i was making enough on social media to sustain my living 100 percent i'd do social media i fucking love social media i love talking to you guys i love the little family we've built but i'm gonna go out move somewhere and pay my own rent it's gonna be tight and i don't want to feel that way at the end of the day and i've always said this i love social media because it's like a hobby for me like, yes i do make money off of it but also i don't really see it as like my job and i've never seen it as my job so i think that if i were to not get a job it would take some of that joy out of it did that make any sense i don't know so we're just gonna move on to the next question what are your post-grad plans none no, i'm just kidding i have some plans they just aren't in action yet because i haven't found a job also part of this question someone asked do you have plans to move in with xanis so here's the thing basically what i want to do is one get a job because like i said i want to continue to do social media but i want to also get an actual job two i want to move out of my parents house <coughs> i want to move out of there because i'm already over it hopefully move in with some of my friends I do have a little bit of a plan that I want to move in with Tyler and Katie. You guys might know them from my videos if you're an OG. We've discussed living together, but the problem is like they both got jobs and I didn't. So <laughs> I'm not planning on moving in with Xanis. We haven't even been dating for technically a full year. We have basically been together for a full year. Technically our anniversary I think is like July 10th or July... So I don't even know the date. I would like to be dating someone for longer than that. I love living with friends. I have the rest of my life to go live with Xanis. Oh, oh my God, I didn't even say where I wanna live. I'm like rambling, I'm sorry. I want to move to Chicago. I'm just like so excited for something new. Anyway, that was like a marathon of a plan, but sum it all up if you fast forward and didn't give a f I plan on hopefully moving in with Katie and Tyler. I do not plan on living with Xanis right now. I'm going to move to Chicago hopefully once I find a fucking job. Are you still friends with everyone in the 256 house? Bitch, duh, yes. We just went on vacation to Florida. Also, Casey wasn't on that trip because she had a whole nother trip with her hometown friend group. That's the only reason she wasn't there. I'm still friends with all of them. I'll always stay friends with them. So I'm friends with all my college friends still. I still talk to everyone like literally every day. Now onto the question everyone and their mother has been asking. Are you going to film a video with the boys? I have literally answered this in like five videos at this point. I just keep answering it because people keep asking and it gets really fucking annoying. Am I ever gonna film a video with them again? Never say never, I guess, but probably not. I have explained this in so many videos. We were never a friend group. They're all a year younger than me in school. I've known them, I've had classes with them, I've played sports with them, but were we ever in a friend group? No. We just filmed that video like during the COVID years when none of us really were doing much with our lives. We're like, let's film this video this will be something fun to do we're bored and that was that and then it kind of blew up and we we're like whoa i love them they're very sweet boys but everyone's doing their own thing now possibility that actually happening is probably not likely so don't get your hopes up is all i'm saying um but that was such a fun time in my life when we did all that but will it ever happen again probably not how is the job search going bitch <laughs> How is the job search going? Woo! Horribly. Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. Ugh, I fucking hate, I hate the job search. If you think getting ghosted by a boy is rough, just wait till you have to search for a job because you will get ghosted by 20 companies and it's worse than getting ghosted by a boy because you're like, wow, am I really that fucking stupid that no one wants to hire me? So yeah, that's fun. I applied for one last night that had 644 applicants. So I was like, oh, okay, perfect. But like I said, they're very competitive. So I can't be too hard on myself. If there's 200 applicants and I got an interview, I should be grateful that I got an interview. You just have to learn and not take it personally. I'm just thankful I've been getting interviews. I'm crossing my fingers. July is my month. But I'm going to be getting a job in July. Cheers to the job search. If you're going through this, we're in this together. DM me on Instagram and we can talk about it and cry together. I need to shut the up i'm talking way too much this is like therapy to me i have therapy later tonight but this is my pre-therapy just talking to you guys what is your workout routine i'm gonna be honest this past year all i've done is cardio i have not lifted like once i realized like i don't really like lifting i like to do cardio i know some people find it so boring but like love to just do that and watch youtube since summer started i haven't been going to the gym but when i was i would do the 12 through 30 on the treadmill which if you don't know what that is it's 12 incline three speed for 30 minutes and then i would go on either the elliptical or the stair step 
stepper. I honestly don't like to do more than 10 minutes on the stair stepper because I'm fainting and I'm sweating so much that there's a waterfall coming out of my face. So, and then I would always finish up with just five minutes of abs. At the end of the day, I think that my body looks different than I did last year because of the way I'm eating and also I was drinking a lot less this year. As much as like I feel like people think I'm a party girl on the internet, I'm just like not. <laughs> I love to go out and party, don't get me wrong with my friends, but I am not one to like want to drink. This is such a drawn out question all i do is cardio either the treadmill elliptical stair step routine at the gym or now that it's summer i've just been wanting to be outside so i just run one two three miles a day when i run i also usually later in the day walk like three miles just like with my parents like casually walking hot girl walk with tom and denise is literally the nightly routine for me at 5 30 every day <laughs> will you be getting engaged soon no no, I'm too young. And I'm not judging anyone who's my age, who's married, engaged, have kids. I'm just so far from that. I've never been someone who's like, I'm gonna get married at age 22. My parents got married at like 28. I've always seen the same thing for myself. The earliest I would probably get married is like 25. I'm not in a rush at all. And I definitely want to get engaged to Santa and get married to him at some point, but uh, just not in the cards for me right now. <laughs> and I don't judge people that do that. A lot of my friends talk about getting married young and I'm ready for the wedding personally. So if you could make social media your full-time job would you what kind of jobs are you looking for i feel like i kind of already answered this uh yes i would if i could what kind of jobs am i looking for i already mentioned this social media marketing digital marketing advertising communications public relations anything in that field if you have a job or family connection for me dm me or email me at coreshersal at gmail.com okay last question how is your mental health now that you're back home living with your parents? Not gonna lie, not the best. I recently started therapy again because I was having a mental breakdown every day and I'm not trying to say that to be relatable. Um, I'm genuinely being serious. My mental health is probably the worst it's been in my life. I've always had such a high level of motivation for like social media and everything and I don't because I've just been so sad and like I just don't know what the f I'm doing with my life. Like I could actually cry about it right now. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. It's like weird because I've never been in a healthier relationship in my life. I've never been happier in my relationship. My friendships are amazing. I have a great support system. I don't know. I've just been like sad a lot. But yeah, if you're struggling with mental health, DM me. We can talk about it together because I'm right there with you. And I think it's like everything in my life. Last night I was spiraling because I'm like, I don't have a job. Oh my God. Ew, I'm such a baby. Why am I crying? Ugh, I don't know. I've just been very in my head about feeling like a failure. Yeah, just genuinely not knowing what the I want to do with my life is very overwhelming for me. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Mental health is terrible, but because it's terrible, it can only go up from here. That's the motto. We can only go up. So anyway, that was kind of a depressing end of the video, but that's my life update. That's going to be it for this video. I love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful for every single one of you. But yeah, I just turned 23. We'll see what the year holds. Make sure to follow my Instagram so that next time I do one of these little Q&As, you can ask a question and I can answer it. I love you all, and cheers to figuring out our life this year. Okay, bye. I've been thinking about good times So tell me all your words I I believe them if I